The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour on this, oh I didn't even mention the date when I did the update on this 8th, the Tuesday, uh, 8th of uh, February, we're looking at the Dow up 68, was up a lot more earlier on, was down a little bit, just mixed, mixed market, 35,162, uh, I see, that this is the selectivity we've been talking about. We're looking at the Dow holding a lot better than some of the other indices. It has the right mix, but it isn't the right mix in the sense that you're looking at the Dow breaking to a leg, see above 35,679, not yet, sort of stuck in a range right now. But if you look at the S&P, S&P 500, down eight at 4475. So for the Dow, you've got this huge thing with Amgen, Amgen, Earnings come out, and it's this is a you know, big biotech company, uh, AMGN 234.33 up 10.8, uh, up almost five percent in leg D in the uh, daily chart. It was a very complex Chapman wave notation earlier on. Uh, I did this over the weekend, looked at I forgot to put this in, I saw it, but I didn't do it. A lot of these notations I do so that because we're all about education, just so that. People who are looking at the chart can see it. This is stuff that I see all the time. But here it is articulated in such a way that it makes sense. The dreaded H, the lowercase h, can become a big U-shaped formation <clears throat> if there's a price move above the arch high. Of course, there is a huge one right now. And uh, this is leg D, but it's only a leg C in the weekly chart. Monthly chart says, yeah, yeah, nothing to see here. It should fail at about the 240, 242 area. But we'll see. So this is Amgen. It is helping the Dow. Now what we're looking at is Within the context of the markets, as I said, the S&P, uh, the Dow, Dow itself is up 0.25%. The S&P is down 0.20%, uh, 20, .20, and we're looking at the QQQ down 0.5%, down 1.81 at 363.32. If you want to look at something interesting, look at the ARKK. Uh, we haven't gone back into this. We had it just for a brief moment uh, about a week or so ago. I, this is, if ever there's going to be a rebound in this extremely oversold stocks like a triple D, 3D systems, uh, like uh, well, a square, I don't know what they call it now. What do they call it? Block. I mean, give me a break. Square was such a great name. Why change it to Block? Google was such a great name. Why change it to Alphabet? Facebook. It was Facebook. Why try to change it? I mean, I don't even matter. Give me a break. All right. So that's my little grump. Uh, look at Square. Still going down. And it, it basically, it was a very, very good company. The chart is saying, well, it was a very good company. They have serious problems right now, obviously, going from... Two two hundred and ninety back in August to today a hundred. I would say that getting cut by almost two thirds is a problem. So that's the issue that we have to look at over the next six through one February the eighth. I, I would say over the next four weeks. That's really the issue we're going to be looking at. How does it resolve itself? These downside moves, major downside moves in some of these. Absolutely. I mean, yes, a stock that went from under 50 back in 2020, actually 32, 23, goes all the way to 289. Of course, there's got to be some kind of a, a pullback, but a pullback like this. Hoo -hoo, this is square we're looking at. All right, let's go on. We've got um, uh, the I IWM, the Russell 2000. Uh, now it's up 91 cents at 227. It's trying to find some support. It's trying to f say, hey, don't rule me out. I'm not the QQQ. I'm not the NDX 100. I'm something completely different. I'm the small caps. And in the small caps, there are some great companies. It's just not being recognized right now. But it is a monthly PD. We got to, and it's under the 14 period moving average. Sell signal in the monthly chart. Let's see what happens by the end of the month. All right, let's keep going. We're looking at, I wanted to show you this, the SMHs, 271 down a dollar. 
stuck. It looks very much like any of those charts that I showed. I'm going to show a whole bunch of charts now. I'm trying to get this done. Had great questions from uh, um, uh, Matt, uh, Jason, just a, a bunch of people sent in some questions. A lot of them overlapped. I haven't even heard about some of the stocks, and yet they were overlapping. Um, and uh, Leaf as well. And Boris, I'll be I'll be I'll be there in a moment. So let's just finish this up. We're looking at the SMHs just stuck at the lower end of the range, sitting on the 200 period exponential moving average. Ay ay ay. Uh, they were the winners. I think the semiconductors is telling us that this market correction is still ongoing, and we've got to be really careful. Now let's go to gold. Uh, gold is up three. It's actually it's it's. It's running quite well. The reason why for subscribers, I want you to add, I had a whole list ready of, of going into the into the gold sector. I still think we're more in a trading band. If you look at the rectangle over here than anything else, let's give it a day. If it's going to move, it's going to move and try to go back to the 1850, 1860 area. Um, Let's see what happens. And if it does that, you're looking at, let me just do silver quickly. Silver is acting quite nicely today, 23.14, up 0.06. Uh, it needs to get to 23, I'd say 23.45, 23.50. Then all of a sudden, the magnet of the 200 period moving average of 23.94 comes into focus. But if the dollar, the XY, is able to find some stability going back into its rectangle into the 9580s instead of being a 9560 right now, um, 8580 to 9610. In that area, it says, uh oh, dollar is going to hold okay. And that means that gold will hold okay. They're just going to go back into their sideways trading band. But if the dollar starts to slide under 95 at any, any day, that it closes under 95 in the next week. That's a serious sign for the dollar. Uh, just EUR, USD, let's do that. The euro pulling back from that. I have to call that a peak A. But uh, we're starting to see the technicals quite good, like 85% in the stochastic. I'm watching. This is a very complex time for these these different the currencies, etc. Let's go on to uh, crude oil. Crude oil right now is down 1.80 at 89.57 peak D, went to the inside track repellent zone, now sitting on the nine period, the green moving average right there, nine EMA. If it breaks, 87.74 is next. If it closes, if the crude oil in the next week has even just one close under 80, 85, so let's call it 85. That's four points low, four and a half points low. That will say it's more than just a short-term pullback in crude oil. It's going to be here for a little while longer. So let's just do this. We want to go to the TLT. Ay, 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 the TLT. Oh, I, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. 138 down a uh, 1.10. Uh, look at that dreaded H pattern and look at the cup formation double top 152.72 going to 152.99. No, it can't be. That's impossible. Going to one. 151.79. Let me just double check that. One. It has to be 54. 155.12. Sorry, I didn't get that right. 155.12. 155. 12. And I think that was six, four. I'll, I'll have to change it. But yeah. What a pullback. What a pullback. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I just wanted to show this. This is the one minute uh, e mini. Look at this beautiful left side, right side price, time match, and the cup formation. And look at the way the rect how important rectangles are. Let me just get this, make this cup so you can see it right there. Uh, we missed it by about 25 cents, uh, but we've still got one bar to go. Not bad, huh? That's a peak E, should have a little bit of a rest. Now let's get back to our story. And our story says, that bonds, look at the, the rectangle. At some point, there should be an attempt to get back to the 144 level, but that's going to get harder and harder because the monthly chart has got the pattern that I call the dreaded H, or the lowercase h. What does that mean? It means I just move over here, I click, I slide across, and this is the pattern we're looking at. You come, you've got three distinct trajectories in charts straight up straight down one cup formation arch formation you can mix one and two and one and three on the way down if you take out that left side low you can go quite a lot lower you can get an expansion of the arch from the arch high to the base down again you can even get the full uh, complement to the downside and in the cup formation in the cup formation with a straight line up that's the inverse Y. You take out the left side high, you can go much higher. You can even have the pattern that I call the, uh, there it is. This is the falling X where you go up, you make lower highs and much lower lows, and you find support, break out, and you try to head back to the left side high, either in a V or a cup shape formation. All right, so where are we here? This is the invert. This is the dreaded H failure right here. Bonds made a high of 179.70 in the TLT on the 20th, on, the, on March 2020, that's when the Dow made its low and um, plunges down uh, to this low of one, I think it was 134 something, or is it 135? Well, I should have typed it in. 133.19, all right here, 133.19. And look what happens. Nice move to the upside. And then it starts to fail. And in the dreaded H pattern, if you fail at a peak A, not you, but the chart you're trading, a peak A or a peak B, well, watch out because you can have a real tumble down to the left side low. That's bonds. So I had a discussion just uh, about an hour ago uh, with um, one of our tigers, uh, just being a good friend, who took my course 
oh, back in 2005 or seven or something. And I remember saying, oh, this is in the Chapman Way. This is where we're about to break out. This is where we should get the sharpest move, go to leg D. And he said, oh, yeah, in Fibonacci, in um, Idiot Wave. And he started discussing it. And he turns out to be, and he wasn't, this wasn't his profession, but he turned out to be an Idiot Wave, um, not just enthusiast, but an expert. Uh, he had uh, met Prechter. He had discussed who was the person who was supposed to write the book and then said he wouldn't, so Prechter wrote uh, the, the book. Um, anyway, and he's met, he had met all the, the greats in the business, and uh, and he started talking about Elliot Wave, and we became really good friends. I call him my Elliot Wave expert. He's talking about this in a very negative way with bonds, and we both looked at J&K, which is the junk bond, Spider went to a peak D in the uh, monthly chart, pulling back quite sharply here. This is the bar Sp Spider Barclays high yield bond uh, ET uh, ETF or fund. And look at this. I mean, this is just not look, it makes a peak E in the arch formation of the weekly chart. And it's just plummeting. Yes, it's getting close to an area where it should find some support. But boy, that support doesn't hold. It's at 104.52. The other one was HYG, I believe it is, high grade. Uh, what is this? The iShares, uh, iBoxes, high yield. Look at that. It went only to a peak. I believe I wanted to do this in greater detail. 88.10 to 88.10. To 88.16, and then, yeah, this only went to a peak C and then failed. Um, that could have been a double top like the JNK, but HYG trading from a high in the 88s down to um, 83 right now. Five points in a bond. For, I mean, that is so. This is something you've got to watch. Look at this TLT in relation to TLT. See the dreaded H? Look at the TBT. That's the inverse Y. Formation. Look at this. A whole bunch of them. Right here. Here's another one. Right there. Look at that. Breakout. Boom. Now it's in leg C. So I want you to do that. So CVX. CVX. Peak E right now. It looks like the crude oil, right? A little, to a little toppy, but fantastic. Technical so far. Leg D in the monthly. Leg D in the... Uh, weekly chart, look at CVS. I want you to show you um, how fascinating it is that we've got healthcare, the drug stores, making a new all-time high, whoops, a uh, new high in this cup formation. This is like the dreaded H upside down. Look at this huge cup formation. Leg E became a peak E at 113.65. This is CVS drug store, health, health call. In July of 2015, plunges to 5177. Uh, this is in April of 2019, and then works its way in a stair step move to this leg E, where 110.44, 113.65 was the previous high. I think we're going to get close. And then we might start to see a consolidation. I wanted to show you chart patterns. The reason is now we're going to go to the questions. I'm going to go to um, Matt first. So Matt wanted to know, I, let me just, I've got the more, MDB, MDB. Now, most of these, I either seen the symbol but didn't know what it was. Uh, let me just put this as a, P, a leg C in CVS and then we'll get out of it. So MDB, here we go. So you see these patterns where, look at the doji candle high in the weekly chart of MDB, MongoDB, cloud, crypto, social, new apps, etc. It's a peak D in the, in the weekly chart, a peak D in the monthly chart, makes an all-time high. Did I type that in? I forgot. That was a peak G. Uh, look at that double top. These double tops are amazing. Um, my friend who does the Elliott calls them tweezer tops or bottoms. Uh, so 500, 590 round number high. Did I know that? No, but I'm looking at it right now. Round number all time high. Isn't that incredible to make a round number? And how many times have we seen it? Oh, the round number at CVX, uh, Chevron, 137 got taken out. Now, when it, if it starts to pull back, that 117 becomes even more important. So here we go. So for, I would say that 590 down to um, 340. Hmm, let's see that. Yeah, that's about a two third. That's a big, big 
the decline. And you see the way the 200 period moving average is holding here. So all I'm going to say is this. I think it's in the process of forming a base, but that base has to create the kind of low that becomes a much bigger buy signal to buy mode in the daily chart, but it has to take the weekly. For this, if I'm looking out, let's call it seven to eight months towards the end of the year. If I'm looking out that far, at some point, and it has to be fairly soon, I don't care where it goes to the downside, but on the upside, it's got to start trading in the 450 area. We're going to go through each one of these as we move along. I'm Alistair Chapatai, the Christmas Hour. I had a couple of questions. I'll do it as we're going to the break. Hell, I'm a good Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I'm going to be covering all of these pieces that uh, we discussed. So here's the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m pattern. Here's your first arch. You're looking at a question came in for, for Nike. And yes, your small H goes to a larger H, goes to a peak D. Now it's pulling back. And what's really important about Nike, and this is, um, and I, I agree with um, uh, Dan in the Den, that in a sense, he uses this like a benchmark. Like I have certain stocks that I use as a benchmark to what we're looking at. I, I follow Nike, but I have other benchmarks. But most importantly, 
I am looking at the low that was made, 139.56, is trading way above it at 142.74, down 240. If it takes that out, it's going to be a signal both for Nike and the part of the Dow that says wash out because now we start to break key support levels in some visually important. I say visually because it's in an area – it's kind of the sports area, the uh, sports wear. So I know it, 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 I call it peripheral, although it could be a quite a big number, but I still think it's peripheral to overall when you're looking at American Express as part or Amgen as part of the Dow. But it is important. So that's really what I'm looking at. There's a real good chance that it's going to test 139. You better be careful holding it um, at that level because if, if it breaks that, that makes the monthly much weaker. And then I've got a sell mode in daily and weekly and Nike, and it'll be a sell signal in the um, monthly chart. All right, now let's get back to our story here. Uh, a couple of questions came in. I'll try to get those in a moment, but let me just first do uh, this. Yeah, so when, when the question was then about Halliburton and Devon, uh, right here. Uh, Devon, that's the same pattern. Now, this one is a little different because this extension so far, because of the Magdean stochastic, I'm calling it a G. This is in the daily chart. Um, and the reason why I'm calling it a G and not an alternate count just yet is because the action in the MACD is such that it didn't show enough strength. It's pulling back. The stochastic's only at 80%. It's starting to pull back. I'm going to say if it breaks to a new uh, recovery high, absolutely, that'll be a leg C. There's no other way I can count it. And very positive. But Devon Energy, look at this left side, right side, monthly chart, a beautiful uh, cup formation, and, and a beautiful from the, the high of 45, 48 back in something like July of 20, uh, 9, 2018 uh, down to the low of 2020 at 364. Look at this. It went all the way. The number of bars to the left was equal to the number of bars on the right before it broke out. And now it's in a leg D in the monthly chart, Devon Energy. So I just want to do that because we are looking at chart patterns. And I'm going to be showing chart patterns now that are almost the exact opposite. So let's go back. So uh, D Dog is the next one. D O D D O D D O G. Did, uh, where did I put that? I typed it on the chart. Not a good idea on Devon's chart. It ain't a D-Dog. It's doing very well. Yeah, D-Dog coming up. D-Dog is trading. You see how it's the inverse? So this is a, a much better looking chart. Data Dog, monitor infrastructure, cloud, cloud uh, and databases. Uh, I would... I would say that this is holding in the monthly chart. There's a, they're almost like a Roman candle, but it's in the middle there. The weekly chart has gone from a doji candle high at about 200. What was it exactly? Let me just see. I think it's 200 point something. Or did it miss 200? Uh, 199.68. I'd say that's pretty close to 200. 199.68. And now look at this. It's held. Um, with a dreaded H, it did almost a one-to-one, -one, a little more than a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. This is a gray leg A in the weekly chart, a gray leg A. But the MACD is horrible. It's going to take ages for this to turn positive. Stochastic is very weak at 21%. On balance, one is quite good. The nine went under the 14. So this is in a sell mode in the daily, um, sorry, in the monthly. A sell mode in the weekly chart in the middle here. The daily chart is holding very nicely. This is a much better pattern than almost all the ones that we've seen that have pulled back so sharply and tried to rally. This is an leg C. This is the one I'd keep my eye on as the better one out of all the ones we're talking about. So D-Dog, D-Dog is wagging its tail. Um, it needs more. It needs to get at 149.50 right now, down three. It needs very quickly. I mean by Friday or Monday of this coming week, Monday holiday. Or is it Monday or Monday or the next? Whatever it is. Early next week, it's got to be trading the 165s. If it does that, I'd say this is a much better recovery vehicle than most of the others. So there's D now let's look at SNOW. Snow is a symbol. And of course, I typed it in the chart again. It's one of those days, I can tell. Um, SN, 
S N O W. There we go. Um, Hit the 200 period moving average, snowflake and cloud data storage and analytics are all in the same area. Um, so this is a couple of people work in this area and they want to know about the charts. Look, it stopped at the 200 period moving average, which is just below the 50 period moving average. A lot of resistance. Peak D in the monthly, ch in the weekly chart, um, making it a sell mode. This is it was an IPO back in 2020 and it went from around about the 200s, zoomed up to a round number, 420, round number high. Unbelievable how these things can do. It's such a magic thing. To be, even today when it's electronic, in the old days you can understand somebody saying, just get me out at 420, uh, rather than saying 420 and three eighths, which we used to deal in eighths. Um, and it's just easier to do. Then it goes from 420 down to 236, was it, or five? 232.83 on the 28th of January. I would say 232.83 uh, from around number 420, that is serious. So this needs a lot more work. This is under intense selling pressure. Um, it's still IPO and it's still only a peak A second time around in the monthly chart. I think it has to build a base. It doesn't have to break to a lower low, but all I can say is if it closes at 300.88 right now, no, I'm sorry, 288.23 right now, if it closes in the next three to four sessions, any day closes under 275, that creates that arch formation, so be careful. This one is underperforming. The next one is CF. LT. I, I never, this is one of those that I really, I, didn't, I don't even remember seeing symbols. I usually remember the symbols. This one was an IPO back in, was it June of last year? What is that? Yeah, June of last year. Uh, and here yeah, I'm always looking at round numbers for IPO opens. Yep, opens at 44 round number high, drops to 42.31, pops to 57.99, and then comes all the way back to the low, the the all-time low is 37.71, screams to uh, 94.97. So 94.97 in leg B and then a peak B, 94.97. And then it gives it up and goes back to the 50 area. So this is a huge, I mean, almost, almost a 50% decline. Confluent Inc. data infrastructure, connect all application systems, data layers in real time, subscription service. This is the one that when I read everything about it, it seemed to me that this was one that had a lot of upside potential looking at. I'll be back in a moment. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I just, uh, I'll be back uh, to uh, CFLT in a moment, but uh, I want to do everything today at the same time. So Zoom, Pfizer, and and uh, Myrna, uh, Moderna, um, have all the same patterns. And look at this. This is Zoom video. This is the Eiffel Tower. It goes straight up to 588.84 with a 477 round number open in October of 2020. And now it's all the way back down to 138. This is Zoom. Look at Pfizer, uh, dreaded H pattern, the one I was just talking about. Where did I type that? For goodness, what am I doing? PFE, PFE, there it is. Uh, on the short term, dreaded H pattern, taking it out the left side of the 24th, failure pattern. And what was the other one that we were looking at? Somebody, with, oh, Myrna. Uh, M-R-N-A, the same thing there, look at that, it's arching over, um, there's the Eiffel Tower, um, just, you got to be careful in this market, there's certain areas, there's a certain area, we're chasing a particular stock, because we said this is the one, this is the one for the breakout in the, in the, the failure or COVID, and the masks coming off, and everybody going outside, and yet we are chasing this darn thing. I mean, nailed it, that, that it was the perfect one. And here it is getting away from us. Ay, ay, ay. It's up 2.8% just today. But we do have some that are working very well. So let's go back. Now, I want to go back to our caller we've got. Our caller, we are looking at, uh, where were we? Um, oh, there it is. Mark in Fort Collins. Mark, how are you? Sorry for your further wait. Good, Basil. How are you? I'm good. Good. Hey, good um, I am... Um Rig finished a one to one um, to the upside that I got out of yesterday at 384, and I'm uh, thinking about getting back in because it still hasn't made a leg D in the monthly. What do you think? When's it? When's the next buy point? So this is why I'm looking at it. So uh, Rig, which is uh, Rig, is uh, Transocean Limited. It's making, let me just do this, finish it up here, A, a gray A, a gray B, I believe, yep, gray B, and then it goes to an F slash C. So this is where I have to put it together with all the others in the same category. <clears throat> so I think your timing is just fantastic that you got out. Now, what I would have said to you about rig is the choice would have been to take quite a bit off, but to leave something because we don't know quite where, how this consolidation in the, in the crude oil and the oil sector itself is going to be. It might be that you get an initial quick sharp move down, and then it makes the rectangle formation, and slowly it, go, it doesn't have to go much higher, but it could hold well. So here's the issue for you. The, the weekly chart is saying this is one of the weaker ones in the oil sector. It hasn't been so far, but in the weekly and monthly charts, you can see it's basically in a rectangle formation. Or it's even at the lower end. So in this particular instance, your exit was absolutely perfectly timed. Now, what I would say is this, that in I would 
This is one of those we're only going to know in about three days' time. We need to see whether crude oil actually makes its top, whether the general market starts to move higher. We want to see if the airlines and the IYT move higher, saying, ha-ha, crude oil coming down is going to be good for the transportation, uh, the different sectors there. So it's kind of complex, or you can make it real simple. I want to make it real simple. You, are you completely out of rig? Yes. Okay. So then the way I would do this is there's this whole area between, it's at $3.49. There's this whole area between $3.60 and $3.20. That's kind of the support area. Well, $0.20 cents on a $3 stock is actually a big percentage. Even today, it's down only $0.22. Cents. That happens to be 5.81%. So I'm going to say just a very small part of the portfolio of that you're designating to this oil service sector, I would say to you, why don't you put in a buy that you can just be thinking about at about three, the 200 period moving average is at 337. So just like, just a time, just so you got your foot in the door and you just put it in. But within that, let's monitor it because if it gets another sharp sell-off tomorrow, it could even go right through 337. So I'm going to say have it as a mental. I wouldn't put it in as a physical entry, 337, but that's kind of the area that if it, if it gets close to it and it holds for about an hour and a half, maybe that's where you just want to step in and then say to yourself, okay, now I'm going to wait. And I'll tell you why I want you to wait. Because the 200 period moving average – uh, is really important. You can see how it's held at a support, and then it became resistance, and now it should be support. But the weekly chart has the same thing at 335 as the 9 and 14 period moving averages are so close together. If it starts to trade under, if it goes to 320, I'm going to say hold off. And then I'm also going to recommend on the next buy that you don't, I know at $3.49, it's great to have something that really moves well for percentage gains, but I'm going to say, let's think about this. The next move might be the one that doesn't have rig participating. It might be very selective, but it might be a higher priced one. So 330, uh, I think I said 338, just in that area, if it just stops around there, just a little nibble, but that's not really a position. It's just a feeler. It's like a little barometer for you. I hope that helps you. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Okay, and I, I'll be wrong if in the next two days it actually closes above 368. Then I'll say, you know what? Crude oil is going to make a high-level consolidation. This isn't the big move down. And that's another way to – that's the reason why I just said I would have taken most of it off and kept a little bit, even though I had a feeling it would go down, and it did go down. But that's another way to play it because if it rallies from here – it's going to say, whoops, we're not quite ready for the bigger move to the downside. Hope that helps okay. you. Yep, thank thank you. you. So, for, folks, now the Dow's up 152. S&P is up 8. I want you to do finish up here. I want you to look at, uh, so we did, so just SCFLT. I'm going to do these uh, a couple of times over this week because this is a sector that's really important going into 2022 later on. Uh, I mean, just for the moment, I'm going to include Salesforce, which is kind of in a way similar uh, in that it's cloud, but that's about it because it's having a terrible move from the high that was made back at um, 311.76 with 310 round number open on the 9th of November, and yet it is trading at 240. And this is telling us uh, th that the sector, the data sector itself, is kind of under pressure. And that's the reason why I'm saying be selective here. You can be long. You can be, look at the IAI, the brokerage area. I spoke about this for weeks now. Look at this, holding very nicely, closer to the highs. Why would that be in the brokerage area when if this is a kind of a full recession, you'd always see the brokers at the low. That's for a very really good reason. I'll discuss that tomorrow. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, the next one is HCP. HCP is... Uh, Hashi Corporation define infrastructure as code to test security in low trust environment. So it's database as well, but it has a little bit a little bit different bias. Also, an IPO just got smashed from the 90 area down to the uh, 40s, and now it's trading at 70. This one, I need more time. I this yeah, I do want data. <laughs> Funnily enough, I need data to say there is a bias to the upside. 
and that buyer says that at 70.50, it's not going to just move higher, but it's going to snap into the 81, into the 81s where the 200 period moving average is. As it, and if this one can do it sooner, it says, you know what? Maybe they're in the environment now that says, with the security part of it, in a low trust environment, maybe people are going to hedge and go towards this. I'll be back in a moment. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, so th there's just a ton of questions coming in. So let me just do this. The XLF is doing so well because of the, uh, the, the rates going down, like uh, the rates going higher. So this is in play, and you can see it's breaking out of the rectangle formation. XLF is really good. So a, a question came in. Um, uh, let's see. I have three chunks of money I would like to add to my 401k. I'm thinking of putting a chunk in now, maybe somewhere between the low and here, uh, uh, maybe in between another one if it goes below the recent low. So what I'm going to say is, look, I, I would split the new that you want to put in. I split it in half. Maybe today or tomorrow or the next day, you put the first half. And then don't wait too long. Add the next and treat that as your first tranche. Then you do the same thing and spread it out over the next four, six weeks as, as something that you want to be buying. Well, let's do more of that tomorrow. Then I also want to, for Boris a Valet, uh, looking out five years. <coughs> Boris, I'll, I'll try to do at least uh, six months. I don't know about five years, but Valet is acting extremely well. There's iron ore pellets. Question came in, what about CLF? 
acting much better. It's doing very nicely. This is a better chart going back into the rectangle. This is a Cleveland Cliff, Cliffs flat roll steel. They exceed it has to get over 20.30 uh, to really get going. That's the 200 period moving average. Your other one, I'll, I'm going to deal a little bit more tomorrow with it, um, um, Boris, and that's PBR. Uh, acting very well. Yeah, I think it's got a little short-term top peak F and it's pulling back at 13.15. So have patience. This should pull back and then we'll do, I'll do a little more tomorrow. And EWZ is Brazil, the Brazil ETF. This is stalling at the 200 period moving average. This is much more interesting. I'll also deal with that tomorrow. But yes, I'll try. I can't do uh, five yet. And, and leave your DE, uh, DEF TF, I'll deal with these. I'm looking for comparable American charts that look like this. Uh, this is Rotom, Rotom uh, Master Corporation, a leg B. This is acting quite nicely, but we'll deal with those tomorrow. So have a wonderful day, everybody. And uh, I'll do the news. And then if uh, comes up, I'll be back later this afternoon.